I was surprised this die set came so minimally packaged. Now it does have some fun artwork on it, and if you are careful when you open it, it is a resealable bag. But if you hulk out, you're gonna have to find another solution. So let's get to the table and let's get rolling. This seven die set is composed of a nice light blue translucent resin. Now it's actually a little bit more cyan in person than it's showing up here on the screen, but you can see they've infused it with the blue glitter that almost um, shines a little bit silver in some lighting cases. And then you can see in the D6 here, this shows it off really well. There's like these swirls or whirls of a lighter coloration in there that really give the dice a lot of character. I can't tell if that's like a white or a light blue, but it looks really nice and makes a really cool effect, almost like moving waters to me. Now they've gone with a white inking that stands out very nicely in all the dice. You can see clearly all the numbers here, even at a distance. There are some minor issues with the inking on some of the dice. You can see um, here, like on the D10, on that period for the six, it's gone a little bit outside the lines, but really there's nothing egregious on the inking for these dice. They look great. Those numbers are nice, big, bold. I really like the font choice they've chosen for these. It's almost got this like gothic vibe. That's that's kind of what it's given to me. And it, it, it's easy to read and it, it stands out nicely. They've chosen good, like a good size for that font. So it makes these dice really easy to read. They really pop even in a little bit of light. So I really like rolling these on the table. Now, obviously you've seen on some of the dice here that they've got a nice little skull icon on the high number here. Let me pull it up if I can ever find it. There it is. So even on the smallest die face, which is here on the D20, you can see that skull is very clear. There's lots of detail there. Very easy to pick out. I know. You know, a lot of the other dice, like the D6 here, like, boom, that thing stands out. It looks really good. The only one I don't like it on is the D4. Now, for some reason, they've chosen to put it on all the faces for what would be the four corner. That's where they're putting the numbers on this guy. So when it's all skulls like that, you know you've rolled a four. But for any of the other dice, when you roll them, you're going to have to kind of rotate this thing to see, hey, what number did I actually roll? So that's the only thing I don't quite like. I know it'd be hard to get a small skull up into the upper regions you know, of that pyramid for each of these, but it's kind of an odd choice that, I don't know, not my favorite. Now the D6 stands out a lot on this die set. You can see it's a nice big 19 millimeter die size, really gives a cool effect, makes the die just nice and chunky, easy to see. They've upscaled the rest of the dice according to them to kind of match that. Now I will say like the, you know, the D20, the D4, and the D6 obviously, even the D8, all do seem to be that nice larger size compared to a lot of other dice sets. But the, the D10s and the D12 are very similar in size to something like R4i offers. So I wouldn't say these are like a super large set compared to everything else, but a lot of the dice are this nice chunky size. And along with that, you get a great weight in the hand when you're holding these. I mean, they're made out of resin and they are that larger size for the most part. So this just feels really good in the hand when you're holding it. And it gives a really satisfying roll. Now this dice set is called Frost Plague, but I really get a lot more like kind of ocean, icy water vibe from these. Like I'm really just seeing like, you know, some Antarctic, Arctic kind of vibe, like just looking into the depths of the waters there. Really cool, really like the effect. I'm a sucker for blue dice and these just look amazing, especially with that glitter and a little bit of that swirling coloration in there. You know, I'm just getting that like moving waters, something in the dark that's, you know, you might not want to mess with there. You know, that's why there's a skull on there. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this dice set, like what these would be great for, what you'd really like to use them for. Now, the only complaint I really have about this dice set is that they call them UV reactive. They're not glow in the dark. So I've shined these guys with a uh, UV light. I put them out in the sun and they glow for a little bit, but it's a really fast fading effect. It's kind of a bummer because it looks really cool. When you get that in there, it's like the, the sparkles inside almost are glowing like little stars, kind of like the um, Borealis series from Chessex but it fades super fast, super, super fast. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Now, these look great in daylight and you know, under normal light. So I'm not really gonna hold that against the die set because this is something I'm gonna play with in the light anyways. But I just wish that effect lasted a little bit longer if you were doing something cool with them because it is really cool and the dice are still easy to read that way. Now for a $15 die set, I'm a little surprised that all they come in is that little baggie. I, you know, normally get in kind of some sort of at least a little plastic case, but I'm not really going to hold that against them. You know, the dice are super cool. I think they put the money into the dice instead of the packaging. So, you know, if you're looking for a cool set, looks great. It's got some neat little icons on there and just as, you know, nice feeling in the hand, a little bit larger numbers, a little bit larger in the hand, make it feel a little more important. 
check out Black Oak Frostblade. Thanks for watching, folks. Remember to keep rolling. Bye.